Hey there compose fans today we are going with the flow what if you have multiple elements that don't fit neatly in a single row or column that's where flow row and flow column come into play flow row and flow column are layouts that are similar to row and column but differ in that items flow in, into the next line when the container runs out of space Let's jump into Android Studio and see how we can use this flow row and flow layout. So here I have list of these tags. So I will display these tags in a flow row. So for now let's minimize this list. Let's use flow row layout first. So here we can see this is giving error because currently it is in experimental. So let's opt in this experimental layout API. and here what i will do i will take these text list and for each tag i will use an assist chip so let's run our app and see how this is looking So here we can see this flow row has moved the item into the next line when there are no space in that line. So what more we have? Let's see. Let's use these brackets and here we have these many parameters. So we have this horizontal arrangement. So here we can see we can arrange these items in these many ways. So for now let's use that arrangement dot space by and let's use 10 dp so what this space by will do it will give space in between each chips so now let's run our app so here we can see in between each chip we have 10 dp of space and also let's use modifier to give some padding in the starting and in the top so here let's use modifier now let's run our app again so here we can see we have some space around this flow row layout and what more we have we have this vertical arrangement also so here with the help of this vertical arrangement we can arrange these chips in a three different ways let's use arrangement dot center and run our app so here we can see this flow row has arranged these items vertically in the center and if you want to know the behavior of different horizontal arrangement and vertical arrangement you can see the documentation So for that let's go to the Google and here let's type flow layout compose. So here in the first link when we scroll down so here we can see the visual representation of these different arrangement behavior. So by default it arranges the items in the start. We can see the visualization of different arrangements here. and also if we want to see the alignment visualization here we have these three options we can by default it aligns in the top we can also change it to bottom or in the center of that flow row container so now after this we have one more parameter also with the name of max item in each row from the name we can sense what it will do here we can assign an integer value means how many items maximum we can allow in a flow row so for now we can see some of our rows has three items so for now let's use two and run our app again so now we can see we have maximum two items in each row so let's minimize the so after this flow row we have flow layout that flow layout is also behave in the exactly similar manner only the difference is of the orientation flow row place items on the horizontal axis but flow column 
place items on the vertical axis. So for now, let's comment out this flow row. And after this, let's use flow column this time. So let's use this code and use it in this. And run our app and see this change. So here we can see we have not that much item to flow into the next column. So for now, let's use this text list and copy some items from the top and paste it twice and run it again. So here we can see this flow column has placed the items in the next column when we don't have enough space in the first one. So here we have exactly same parameters in this flow column also. So here let's press control B. We can see the documentation. We can see all these parameters are exactly same to that flow row. And also this is implementing this layout under the hood. And that flow row is also implementing that lay same layout. So that's all for today on flow row and flow column in Jetpack Compose. If you found this tutorial helpful, give it a thumbs up and subscribe for more Compose goodness. Mm -hmm.